So my name's Alex McElhaney, I'm 16 and I was diagnosed with ALL leukemia when I was 11 um, and I spent the first three and a half years on um, on heavy chemo and steroids and then I relapsed three months later um, and had a bone marrow transplant and that went well until about eight months later and then I relapsed again and had CAR T cell therapy and now I'm 16 and doing well. When I was 11, like I didn't feel so dependent on like everyone. I lost my independence, but I didn't notice it as much when I was that age as I did when I was like 15. Um, and you don't really understand what's going on at a young age, so it's not as hard compared to like 15, 14. You know you're missing out with friends and all. And um, yeah, when you're older, the independence thing is a huge thing. And when I was older, I realized that the possibilities of relapse were there. And then that would be a constant thing. Whereas if, like if I seen a few bruises my legs now, I'd be worried. But if I was 11 and I seen them, I wouldn't be worried because I wouldn't have the knowledge to worry about that. Distractions help. Um, therapies help with that as well and just just getting out really yeah distractions are a huge thing and when you you realize that you're actually doing well there's no reason to be worried before I was ever diagnosed I used to play football and then I stopped playing football for the few years of treatment and then finished and I started playing again and then I relapsed and I started cycling, so that's the main change was cycling because it was easier on the legs. And then when I got fit again, it was I went back to boat, but it kind of throughout the treatment I've been doing the cycling. And I do feel like I got back to football, but it did kind of strip the football side of my life away from me. People don't understand. Like um like the other day I was only saying this to my mum that um one of my friends said, Why aren't you coming into school? I was in on Monday, they said, Why aren't you coming in on Tuesday? But they just don't think that about the energy side of things. And it's a good thing for people to realise or not to notice that you're like one of them again, you're full of energy and all. But they don't think about like the days you you go home from school and you need to nap straight away can't be doing homework and all or like you'd be out on a weekend and you can't stay out for like the full 10 hours that they're out because it's just so tiring or if you'd be waking up late in the day and be getting abused from your friends but it's you actually just can't help it you need that sleep and it's all even in the last like two months you think oh, I'd know but I've only realized that it's all just the recovering process and just take it a day at a time I think people in my in the position of just being diagnosed that it actually will work out and um, even though people are probably telling you it's going to be over soon and all and it doesn't feel like that it actually will and just be patient and um, and there's loads of different ways around treatment there's alternatives like there's therapies and there's counsellings and all and they're a huge help to me in all throughout my treatment and diets and all so there's loads of ways to help you and um, for people that don't know anything about childhood cancer I'd say mainly just like when I not what I noticed when I was younger was being treated different like as if I had as if I was a baby kind of with no energy and I know I didn't have much energy but I still like I still would have wanted the same treatment as everyone else so yeah, that's the main things. That's the two main things.